The avian bird flu sweeping through U.S. flocks has already cost the poultry industry over $1 billion. The U.S. Department of Agriculture reports Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Nebraska have declared a state of emergency and over 48 million birds have been infected and killed as a result. And while the epidemic has not reached Florida and South Georgia yet, there is concern. On tonight's Insider's Report, I investigate the deadly virus and the chances of its way making it to the Sunshine State. The avian influenza has devastated the poultry industry, affecting birds in 16 states along the Pacific Coast, Central U.S., Midwest, and Mississippi flyways. Now, the concentration now is to get the deadly virus under control and to prevent the spread of the virus any further. It's a situation that has many state health officials and agencies on high alert. In an event, it makes its way any closer to Florida. a highly pathogenic avian influenza. Uh, it's very deadly to domestic poultry. Um, it was first noticed in the United States in December of last year. The Centers for Disease Control, or CDC, is calling it the worst animal virus outbreak in U.S. history. So far, the highly pathogenic avian influenza, or H5, has multiple strains, and it's the H5N2 strain that's been responsible for the death of 48 million birds in the United States. The U.S. Department of Agriculture reports infections in U.S. domestic poultry, captive wild birds, and wild birds. Despite the impact the avian influenza is having on the poultry industry, humans have yet to be infected. However, the CDC Influenza Division is keeping a close eye on the virus in case it mutates. We believe that the initial introduction was from wild waterfowl in the United States. And then once it got into commercial poultry, um, several factors affected the, the amount it was able to spread. Dr. Michael Short serves as the Florida State Veterinarian for the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. He says a break in biosecurity is what allowed the virus to spread so quickly. Health officials in Florida are worried because it's hard to tell who the carriers of the virus are. <laughs> We are concerned because we believe that uh, wild waterfowl or carriers or asymptomatic carriers, they don't show any signs, but do carry the virus. And so as they start to migrate south this fall, certainly there's a potential that could come to Florida. Um, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. As we prepared for this story, we reached out to several poultry farms in North Florida and South Georgia. Out of the half dozen farms we contacted in our area, no one would agree to speak to us about the situation on or off camera. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services is already taking the necessary precautions they need to make sure the avian influenza doesn't make its way to the Sunshine State. A lot of those that includes biosecurity measures, again, ensuring that it doesn't move off the farm on people and equipment, really acting rapidly to quarantine that premises. Uh, we would um, uh, ensure those that that poultry didn't move off, the virus didn't move off the premises, and we would um, act quickly to, to disinfect the premises to make sure the virus was eliminated. The state of Florida already performs a surveillance program. Under the Division of Animal Industry, the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services tests birds from all facets of the industry throughout the entire year. For 2015, they're on target to test 22,000 birds to determine if the avian influenza or any of the strains are here in Florida. Dr. Claudia Blackmore with the Department of Health in Leon County shares her concern. What we are concerned about, of course, is that because flu viruses are as plastic as they are and can exchange genetic materials, mm -hmm. that the flu virus that is currently infecting birds can mix with the human flu virus and, and evolve into something that is more contagious for people. Dr. Blackmore says because the flu virus has changed genetic materials and evolve, health officials have to change the human flu vaccine every year. While the health risk posed to the general public by avian influenza outbreak is low, it is possible that human infections with these viruses can occur. Take home messages really are that uh, right now the CDC is considered a very low risk to humans, which is a very important point. It, it appears that the out, current outbreak has subsided. The last confirmed case was in, uh, in the Midwest on June 17th, and uh, we are prepared uh, in the event that it does make its way south this year. 
According to the Associated Press, as a result of the outbreak, the price for a dozen eggs in the hardest hit states has risen by nearly 60 percent. And if you're purchasing eggs in Florida, a recent USA Today survey shows you're spending anywhere from 25 to 85 cents more for that dozen of eggs. And if you have a story idea for the insiders, email us your idea at ABC 27 News at WTXL.TV. Attention the insiders.